ンケニア両国間の文書交換式を取り行いますまず令和5年度無償資金教育ケニア中央医学研究所研究機能強化計画に関する交換公文の交換を行います交換者は岡庭中ケニア大使とムダバティ内閣筆頭長官兼外務ディアスポラ担当長官ですまたこれまでされてきました長崎大学の長安学長及び金子教授にも売席いただきます次に総務省とケニア情報通信デジタル経済省との情報通信技術分野における協力覚書の交換を行います交換者は松本総務大臣とプダバディ長官です次に国土交通省とケニア道路運輸省とのケニアにおける PPP プロジェクト開発の協力に関する協力覚書の交換を行います交換者は斉藤国土交通大臣とムルコメン道路運輸長官です次に、防衛省とケニア国防省との防衛協力・交流に関する意図表明文書の交換を行います。交換者は、鬼木防衛,防衛副大臣とムダバディ長官です。ありがとうございました続きまして、日本、ケニア両国首脳による共同記者発表を取り行いますまず、岸田内閣総理大臣からご発言いただき、続いてルト大統領からご発言いただきます。えー、2013年の、えー、TCAD5 以来、ルート大統領の3度目となる、えー、訪日を心ここから歓迎を申し上げます。えー、ケニアは民主主義、えー、法の支配といった基本的な価値や原則を共有するアフリカにおける、えー、重要な同志国です。えー、国際社会の分断と対立の様相が一層深まる中、ケニアとの協力はこれまで以上に重要になっています。えー、先ほど実施した首脳会談においては、昨年の私のケニア訪問の成果を踏まえて、えー、今後、以下の3つの分野で協力を進化させていくことで一致をいたしました。第一に経済関係です本日、インフラ分野における官民連携
PPP 推進のための覚え書き、えー、情報通信技術、ICT 分野における両国の、えー、協力関係強化のための覚え書き、ケニア財務省と日本貿易保険とのサムライ債に関する覚え書きが交わされたことを歓迎いたします。第2に、自由で開かれたインド太平洋、フォイップの推進です。先ほど交わされた防衛分野での協力関係構築に向けた一方名表は、アフリカ諸国との間では初となるものであり、インド太平洋及びアフリカの平和と安定に貢献するものです。第三に、国際条理における協力です。まず、今なお続くロシアによるウクライナ侵略は、国際秩序の根幹を揺るがす暴挙であるのみならず、食料価格高騰などを通じ、アフリカを含め、国際社会に大きな影響を与えています。今回、ルート大統領と力による一方的な現状変更の試みは一切許容せず、国際秩序の原則を守り、平和と安定を確保していく必要があることの重要性について一致をいたしました。また、アフリカの食料安全保障の確保に向けて、両国で引き続き緊密に連携して取り組むことでも一致をいたしました。次に、開発金融について、私から官民挙げて、ケニアの債務健全性及び、透明で持続可能な資金調達を後押ししていくことを表明いたしました。ルールに基づく、透明、公正な開発金融の重要性、およびすべての再現国が国際ルール、スタンダードを遵守することの重要性について、両国で共に発信をしていきます。さらに、グローバルヘルス分野について、私からアフリカにおける感染症研究の拠点であり、日本が三間学で約半世紀にわたり支援をしているケニア中央医学研究所への新規協力及び東アフリカ向け医療用酸素の製造能力強化支援を表明いたしました。こうした協力はケニアをハブとしたグローバルヘルスへの貢献であり、世界規模の課題の解決に向けた両国の競争、共に作る競争の象徴です。えー、以上の三分野に加え、今後のワーキングディナー、この後のワーキングディナーでは、安保理改革を含む国連の機能強化や、東アジア、アフリカ地域情勢等について意見交換を行うことを予定しております。今般のルート大統領の訪日を弾みとして、二国間関係及び国際条理での協力のさらなる強化に向けて、ケニアと一層緊密に連携をしてまいります。岸田総理ありがとうございました続きましてルト大統領からご発言お願いいたします Thank you very much Prime Minister On behalf of my delegation and I I want to in a very special way thank you the government and the people of Japan for the warm welcome accorded to me and my delegation and the wonderful hospitality that we have enjoyed since arriving in this great city of Tokyo On behalf of the people and government of Kenya, I again bring you a message of condolence for the, to the government and the people of Japan for the loss of your dear citizens and the destruction of property occasioned by the earthquake which struck Nato Peninsula at the beginning of this year. My visit, Mr. Prime Minister, just comes 
as our two countries celebrate 60 years of solid, firm Kenya-Japan diplomatic relations and is a demonstration that Japan remains an important partner for Kenya. I also confirm that Kenya is committed to enhance, enhancement of our friendly relations, including through regular visits. Over the course of six decades, Kenya-Japan relations have deepened and expanded. And as noted, during our discussions with the Prime Minister, our economies complement one another with each country's exports requiring the other. The key sectors of our cooperation include road and transport, health, energy, ICT, education, agriculture, among others. During our discussions, I shared with Prime Minister Fumio Kishida the salient elements of Kenya's development strategic priorities and plan for execution. They include agriculture and food, security, climate change and environmental conservation, health and research, ICT infrastructure development, education, and capacity building, as well as in the security sector. On infrastructure, I am very happy that we have now concluded discussions on the, de uh, on the development of Mombasa and the coastal region, including the Mombasa Gateway Bridge, Dongo Kundu Special Economic Zone, and also seated infrastructure in the coast region. And we have agreed on an accelerated time-bound execution plan as the, some of these projects had been delayed. On agriculture, we acknowledged Japan's support for the completion of phase two of Mwea irrigation scheme and the completion of the national rice master plan to cover the entire country as a mechanism of achieving food security in our country and also throughout our continent with Africa's food security in mind. And I have thanked Prime Minister for all the initiatives he is undertaking on matters food security in our continent. Further, the Prime Minister and I discussed the modalities of financing national development, including through frameworks like government to government and public-private partnerships. As a consequence, a PPP framework was signed between our two governments, and we therefore agreed to take deliberate steps to facilitate the private sector to play a significant leading role in the Kenya-Japan economic cooperation programs and projects. In keeping with the commitment to support implementation of some areas of interest, today Kenya and Japan signed a memorandum of understanding on cooperation in the ICT sector and on the enhancement of capacity of the Kenya Medical Research Institute, KEMRI, to build on its pandemic management potential. Additionally, we witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding to issue a samurai bond and also a letter of intent with respect to defense cooperation to strengthen our partnership in the field of defense and enable us to work together in promoting peace and stability in Africa and in all maritime trade routes, as was explained by my good brother, the Prime Minister. As you know, we have challenges in our region, in Sudan, in Somalia, and associated areas. We also have the war in Europe, what is going on uh, elsewhere, and the defense cooperation signed between our two governments will go a long way in enabling Kenya to work with Japan in securing our roots, in securing our countries, and in peace and stability in our region and globally. At the multilateral level, Kenya will remain a strong supporter of Japan-EU partnership in general, and in respect to TIGAT in particular, ensuring that our participation and our programs as has been the case uh, between Africa and Japan. Similarly, we count on Japan's increased support for our nation's uh, development in keeping with the demands of our radical positive change. Japan and Kenya noted the importance of a rules-based, transparent, and fair development financing, and the importance of compliance 
with the international financial rules and standards by all creditor countries. Japan has a strong voice which can support and amplify the effective, effectively disenfranchised voices of developing countries in regard to their peculiar development needs in terms of access to affordable financing for sustainable development. Financial, uh, as a result, the reform of the financial international development finance architecture is a necessity. And additionally, I brought to the attention of the Prime Minister my forthcoming activity as the International Development Agency's replacement champion, and especially the summit I am scheduled to host in Nairobi in April 2024. Through the Prime Minister, I requested Japan's support for this important replenishment that will greatly support countries in the global south, especially in Africa. In our discussion, we noted the need for international community to uphold the very foundations of the international order, such as respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all nations, and to ensure global peace and uh, stability. We also covered the urgent and important campaign for the reform of the international financial architecture. And as uh, the Prime Minister has said, we will be continuing discussions on reform of the UN and other agencies later. Let me also confirm here that I will be having a conversation with the Prime Minister on um, the Nairobi office of the United Nations and to appreciate that Japan already supported the, Secretary, the United Nations Secretary General's proposal for uh, enhancement of the office in Nairobi. Um, we will be uh, having further conversations on the rest of the programs that are uh, in the pipeline. And again, Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of uh, my delegation and I, I want to appreciate your cordial invitation and the hospitality that has been extended to us. Thank you very much. Ruto Daitorio, do marigato gozaimashita. Ijo mochimashite, Nippon Kenya, Ryo Kok Shino Nyoru Kyodo Kisha Hapyo Shuriyo Itashimasu. Thank you.